Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist with mid level of experience. Okay. And with all this advancement in AI, new AI roles coming, I started thinking, what should I plan for myself? Where should I head myself to? And what would be a good career path for me, right? In this video, I am going to discuss about five questions that I asked myself and I reached to a conclusion which I will tell you also. But before that, I want to tell you the framework I use to decide where should I move. Okay, broken into five questions. Let's start guys. First thing, first and very important thing, what I have learned so far. Okay, now if I ask that question to myself, right, I'll just tell you in one minute, I have learned how the industry has evolved over the years in last 10 years okay so how data science has matured i have worked in multiple projects i have worked in multiple proposals multiple small projects to say poc proof of concepts some big projects also but i have seen how the industry has evolved okay so i have a fair understanding of what works what doesn't work for what kind of model what kind of input is needed and i have a wider understanding of the things that too in a good manner okay so I understand, okay, this is the data requirement for this kind of use case. Okay, this is how results can be expected. This is where results will not come. Okay, this is my learning over the years. But this is my learning as a data scientist. There are more learnings, right? I have learned how you can manage an entire tool. Okay, when I say tool, right? Uh, in the future, what may happen is every organization may start having their own AI tool. Okay. So I'm a small company, but I'm having my own AI tool, which does something ABC, which makes my life easy. Okay. Even any individual can have their own AI tool. So I know how this tool will work. Okay. Based on my experience, your experience can be something else. So if that tool is doing a time series forecasting, I know how time series forecasting works. I'm not talking about every minute detail of time series forecasting. I'm talking about, I know how time series forecasting works. Okay. There is a difference. Okay. So my learning over the year, years comes into two parts. One is I know how data science has evolved, what works, what doesn't work. Second, I know how a particular tool or particular thing should, you know, be projected to the client or what should be expected from this tool. Okay. That is the first question you should ask yourself. What is my learning over all these years? Okay. Second thing you should ask yourself being very honest is where the industry is heading. Now, there is no doubt that new age AI jobs are coming. I will not give much commentary on this part, but don't be scared. Don't be afraid guys. You know, AI jobs are coming and new type of AI jobs are coming. Okay. Yes, some of the jobs will go. There is no doubt about it. But at the same time, new age AI jobs are coming. Which of this new age AI jobs fit to me? So I'm saying industry is moving in this direction. In this direction, how do I fit myself? That is the second question you need to ask. Which are new age AI jobs? Many of us know, right? AI engineering is evolving. MLOps has already evolved. MLOps engineering. Uh, product management, maybe AI ethicist, maybe many other things, right? All these things are there. So which of these I can fit myself in? Second point. Third point is what is a long term reward for me? Very important to understand guys. What is a long term reward for me? Now there are 13 to 14 lakhs data scientist profile last I saw in the LinkedIn. Okay. I don't know the correct number now, but but it may be more than that. And in the future, you can understand how many people will call themselves as data scientists. So if somebody needs to hire a data scientist, right? How many options that company has? How many, how many people will be applying for that same position? Data scientist, data scientist, everybody is data scientist. Okay. So what I thought is, let me, you know, I have to plan in such a way that I have to be one level above data scientist. Okay. Not, not the pure data scientist, something above that. Okay. And how I can do that? How I can do that? Let's start thinking in that direction. So where I can add value and where I can make some good amount of money. Okay. 
and how it will be rewarding for me in long term so these these things should should start coming to your mind okay next and related point where is shortage coming okay shortage of people coming okay so uh, data scientist as i gave you an example shortage is there even if there is shortage in future there won't be lot of shortage okay even if people need somebody who can do basic python basic machine learning deep learning gen ai you know there will be many people on the ground who can do the same job why somebody will give you more money and why somebody will hire you right so you have to fit yourself or i have to fit myself in a place where there is a shortage of skill data scientist is obviously not that field in coming time i am talking about more shortage data scientist obviously if you compare from normal developer profile shortage is there will be there but more shortage more demand that kind of profile i am talking about here okay and last but not the least when i join that particular role right will i be able to do justice to that role very very important suppose i take a very high salary and i join a role where i am not able to justice to my role i am not able to do that is it a right thing to do is it sustainable thing to do is it something i can do through all my career of course not what is the way out i need to understand what will be expected from me and acquire those skills okay i am going to tell you what are the skills i am talking about here and what is the career path i think as i am shooting this video today i think is you know something i am i am looking to something i'll be heading towards in future okay so i know how data science works i know how machine learning works i know how product management works i can talk to clients i can talk to stakeholders i can manage a team so why not i can become a ai product manager not immediately but maybe after some time okay what will be the questions coming or what will be the expectations from me as a ai product manager so tomorrow some new client can come and ask me hey this tool does a k means clustering let's take a simple example this tool does k means clustering i run a e-commerce website i have some customers 80% of my data is having categorical columns can you do a k means clustering for me i will simply say no because i know how k means clustering works right if you keep throwing categorical data on k means clustering the result is not going to be good so that level of knowledge i should have when a new client new customer new prospect comes they tells us to do something i can evaluate and say this can be done this cannot be done if you want to do this the data requirement is this okay that is one part of the story other part of the story is if my team is working on some requirement right and my team tells me that you know aman i am trying to use this model and this model is not available on this place or this parameter is not getting tuned something is not happening can i add value there of course i can add value there second second area of my value addition third area of my value addition is uh, can i plan can i can i can i think how much time of model development or how much how much you know estimation part i am talking about suppose a new functionality or new feature is needed in my product right so can i think about the estimation of that can i talk to various stakeholders about that estimation can i charge my new client based on the estimation can i do the estimation and say that okay this will be the cost for this maybe not on the day one with 100% accuracy but with time i can do that okay if i go into ai product management area the core responsibilities that will be expected from me is understand the product which i can do with my current knowledge manage uh, you know stakeholders or uh, new requirements or sales pitches or proposals can i contribute there yes can i do the estimation can i forecast how much time it will take can i say what will work what will not work yes can i work on the ground work on the ground means not directly doing hands on but can i you know overlook what people are doing of course i can and can i improve the product overall from what is going on in the market how cloud can be integrated how cost can be saved blah 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 right 
of course i can so from my experience of understanding how machine learning deep learning work from my experience of working on the ground from my experience of you know com skills from my experience of managing a team right when all these things come together i find ai product management is a very rewarding path for me this may be something else for you okay just ask yourself these five basic questions what have i learned so far where is the future heading where is the shortage of skill coming how can i get more rewards okay and can i do justice to my role all these things should be able to give you crystal clear answer of how you should plan your career okay i'll see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care